Hello everyone! This week, video games have leaked into real life. And is it also the weekend to buy all the Legos? We're going to find out today on Sleuth News. Welcome in everyone, I'm Grizzly Bear, I'll be your anchor. To start off, off with tonight's news, let's send it over to Grizzly to find out all the brick news you need. Thank you so much for that introduction, Grizzly Bear. I'm Grizzly, the one with all your brick news. So starting off today, we have Lego news. First up, there have been leaked images of the Tranquil Garden Legos ideas. And this looks beautiful. It's got a very nice looking bridge, red bridge. Nice little like zen building type of deal. So a little zen garden. I kind of expected with a zen garden like a little, what is that called? A sand garden almost. But the Lego one looks really great and I can't wait to see this. A couple other of Lego ideas were approved. First up, you have Jaws by the Diving, sorry, Faces. It has been approved, approved by the Lego company. You know what? Not too bad. I do like the boat. I think the boat is really well done. The shark, I'm used to the Lego sharks, like not the built ones, but I like, I like the little single piece ones with the mouth opens. But you know what? I say it's a pretty good boat build. The second one approved is a cat by the Yellow Brick. I like the Brickhead cats. This is almost just a little bit too realistic for me, but you know what? It's definitely going to go great in someone's home. Also, this weekend is, is two times VI po VI po VIP points on lego.com until the 13th. And not only that, they also have a bunch of gift with purchases going on. I believe all of these are until the 18th or while supplies last. You have the summer pack way up there, which comes like with a bunch of accessories. You have the Lego blanket. I think you got to hit $200 for that one. If you hit $200, you get all three. And you have this little like pirate like play set, which is adorable. So make sure if you're going to buy Legos, you buy them this weekend because great deals are happening. And last a little bit of like Lego Lego news. Brick World Chicago is happening June 17th and 18th. I've been seeing a lot of Lego creators already talk that they're on their way going there. Super exciting. Wish I could be there. But it looks like it's going to be a fantastic time. I believe that the tickets were $14 online, if I'm not mistaken. So make sure to get them quick, because I wouldn't be surprised if this sold out pretty quick as well. But So I hope everyone enjoys Brick World. Maybe I'll be there next year. And last but not least for any Brick news for this week, Funhole has released two new products this month. First off, we have the Jack and the Beanstalk. This was a recreation of an old one they did. I think they were updating some things and making it work a little better. And the second one that they have is their own A-frame cabin. Looks like it has a ton of little details in it. I haven't seen as much of the inside, but the outside looks pretty great. And now let's send it over to AJ for all your card-needed news. Thank you so much, Grizzly, for sending over my way. I'm AJ. I'm here with all your Pokemon and card-related news. Does it, not just Pokemon, but other cards as well. But this week, Paldea Evolved released. Is it Paldea Evolved? I believe so. I think Paldea something. It released. And they have some amazing cards like this Tyranitar, but there's a couple others I want more. You have this Chiyu EX, which the colors are just beautiful. And I think one of the best cards in this is 100% this Magic Carp. I love this style. Reminds me a lot of the Giratina. This Giratina from Lost Origin, which I'm still looking for. I eventually find it. These this style of cards are just beautiful, bright, vibrant colors. I would love to see more of these. I'm glad they had that magic carp in. In other card news, the One Ring is coming. Apparently this is from a set that hasn't released yet, and there is only going to be one. One card. And there is multiple bounties for like a million dollars plus for this card. So if someone pulls it... Either they're going to have get to keep it and have the rarest card ever, or they can sell it and become a, mil a millionaire pretty easily. Maybe I'll try and grab some of these cards to try and find it. That's everything for your card news. Let's go over to gaming with Bear. Thank you so much for the send over. I'm Bear. I got all your gaming related news. So let's start with your free games of the week because those are always the best. First up, you have Tell Me Why is currently free on Steam until July 1st, so get it now and it stays in your library. 
Epic Games free game is Payday 2. We've seen this a couple times. It is available for free until June 15th. And I'll say it's a pretty decent game. Video games have leaked into the world, real world. This was an image from New York. You got the Diablo picture here. And just look at the sky, and I know that pictures definitely don't do it justice. They have been getting a ton of smoke coming from Canada from their forest fires. But the timing of this sign, like, yes, yeah, some, someone kind of knew what they were doing. <laughs> and last but not least in your gaming news today, the Spider-Man 2 box art is out, or the new, like, front art is out, which is on theme with their other ones, and oh, it's so simple and it's so perfect, and I cannot wait till this game is out and to play it. Let's send it back over to Grizzly Bear to finish us off with any other news for today. Thank you everyone for all the updates in your respective areas. So let's just finish out with some interesting and fun news. So first off, Blue Bell is coming out with a Dr. Pepper float ice cream, which sounds absolutely delicious, and I need to figure out where to buy this because I'm not buying online. You can buy it straight through Blue Bell, but it's like $142 because you have to buy a certain amount. So hopefully it's at like a Fred Meyer or something because that's where I'm going to be checking. And because I messed up last week, here is Grizzly Bear 399 again with her new cub for this year. They're so pretty and they're so beautiful and she has been an amazing mother, obviously. She's had so many ba bear cubs. And it's amazing she's still having a couple as one of the, I think, the oldest recorded grizzly bear in Yellowstone currently. So I just had to actually show you the picture because I messed up last week. Okay, guys, and then last little bit for our news for this week is updates on my stream and stuff. So this last week, I continued to play Horizon Zero Dawn. Figured I was going to finish it completely. I was wrong. Apparently, there's still more going on in the DLC that I'm doing. So we will be continuing that this week. Plus, we'll also be continuing Heavy Rain, and we might actually be getting close to the end for both, and we might have to move on to some new games. I am working on getting a PS5 to hopefully continue into Horizon Forbidden West and be able to play Spider-Man 2 once it comes out. On top of that, this week I'll so this week I'll still be playing those, but on Wednesday I think I'm going to play some Rocket League because I kind of I've just been having that Rocket League itch this week, so I think we're going to play that on Wednesday. And don't forget, I am still saving up to try and get a Series 10 LEGO completely unopened box of like 60. So we're, don't forget we're doing that. So I'm at like about $100 out of $1,300. So we'll get there eventually, but we're, we're still going for that goal. All right, everyone, that is our show. Thank you so much for coming out. I hope we'll all have a wonderful weekend. And for all you millennials, I lost the game. And so did you. All right. Have a good day, everyone.